so what is that to see in Sao Paulo? I don't know. Ask me around this time tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on the limb. So I'm actually heading to Sao Paulo today, yeah. I have 12 hours to spend there, so I'm gonna go check out what the city has to offer. I know the city is the commercial hub in Brazil, it's the largest city in Brazil, home to about 12 million Brazilians. Uh, in fact, I think it's one of the largest cities in South America as well. So I'm really excited. I mean, been to Rio many years ago, but never to Sao Paulo. I only have a day to spend, so I decided to take the night flight here on United, uh, leaving at 10 5 p.m arriving at 9 40 in the morning and i am I'm actually coming home tomorrow at 9 30 at night so that will give me about 10 minutes shy of 12 hours in sao paulo to do some damage so come check out the city with me i'm excited i mean it's short but i'm always excited to check out a new city Hey guys, good morning. Oh, bon dia. I finally arrived at uh, Sao Paulo Airport. Uh, it was a uh, 8 hours and 57 minutes flight, so the flight itself was okay. I mean, uh, turbulence all the way. Pretty much the, uh, the seatbelt sign was pretty much on, uh, maybe for just one hour that was off, but otherwise it was shaking throughout, so we had a good workout coming over for sure. So I am here, I'm energized, I'm pumped. I'm waiting for my driver slash guide, Laura, to come pick me up and we'll go check out the city. So come with me and see what's in store for us. So, hey guys, so I'm with Laura, my guide for the day. She's very knowledgeable. She's a local here. She's gonna drive me around. She knows how to, how to keep me safe. So this is how you see uh, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Because you know gringo is like, uh, it's not me, I'm not gringo, I'm American, but we pronounce Sao Paulo. You are gringo. Gringo is Sao anyone Paolo. that's not, that was not born in yeah. Sao Paulo. Uh, so Sao you Paolo. are gringo too, which Sao is not a bad thing here, exactly. being a gringo, it's nice. So usually people treat the foreigners better than they treat really? the locals. Yeah. So the city is safe, ish, compared to other cities, no, or no? It's not. I compared to Rio de Janeiro, it is. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, you need to be careful. Right. Uh, for example, my other car had a shot in the car. Oh, you mean have a gun in the car? Ha no, have a gun shot. They oh, shot really? Oh, they shot? They really? Yeah. <gasps> Danilo was kidnapped with the tourist. <gasps> Wait, who was kidnapped with this? The guide, the tour guide was... <gasps> oh, really? Yeah, they have this situation sometimes. Wait, but what happened now? They, they... they kidnapped them, they took them to the ATMs. Oh. And then after that, they released them. But imagine the trauma. It was a couple of months not wow. working because of the trauma. This was like during the day or at night? Yeah, during the day. Really? Yeah. Oh. But for us, it's quite normal. Yeah. So I'm actually sitting underneath a big giant cat that purrs at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Hey, kitty, kitty. Oh. It's a huge cat.
say, Laura, you have the Italian neighborhood. Yeah. Who goes there? Italian? No, I come here. I was here yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I work for an agency uh, here. This is. I love this. Ah, uh, this is Japanese town. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And they have cool shops that you find everything that you don't need, but they are so cute. <laughs> All made in China. Yeah, some of them made in Japan too. Yeah. Those Miniso Daisos things. Uh, you don't have Ultraman here. Sometimes you have Ultraman, Ultraman. Ultra Seven. Yeah, because like Jaspion, but older. Right. There's a crazy lady that puts fire in this place and she does barbecue here. Really? Yeah, a homeless person. Okay, homeless. Uh, there, you might see a group of men, a lot of men. Okay, here's the police. There, you see that group of men? Right. Okay, what those people are doing? Selling rubber merchandise. Oh, really? Yeah, like cell phones, iPhones, or... Oh, here, there are people there. There's a police there, that's why they are kind of spreading. So oh. when they leave, they come back. This is the cathedral from 1954. One, right. one of the uh, gifts from Sao Paulo to Sao Paulo for the 400th anniversary. Right. These people are Brazilians, but they are not from here. You see? <laughs> Stop by the ice cream place called Pinguina. I got some Brazil nut ice cream, it's uh, really tasty. Paulista is how we call someone that was born in Sao Paulo. If they're born in Rio, they're Carioca. Carioca. Born in Paulo, Paulista. Paulista. Oh. Here we have a house of a coffee farmer from 1905. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a museum. This house. This house, historical house. And this is the most expensive rental of Sao Paulo. 125,000 US dollars per month. The That's McDonald's. the Mackey. Look at Mackey. They, they yeah. Mackey 1000. Ah, that's McDonald's. Here they have a showroom and they have a, like a hamburger with cheese bread. Oh. Yeah, they do those weird things. Oh. oh, this is so cool. This is the modern, uh, the, I'm museum. sorry, the art museum. Yeah. So Sao Paulo, I think I'm glad I came. I know I wish I could spend you know longer here, but um, I just had a day, so I'm actually gonna uh, jump on my flight. I'm heading over to the gate to board my United flight uh, back to Newark right now. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my content, subscribe. I've never recorded this before. Uh, I usually just put a text that says subscribe, but really, I need some subscribers. You know, I'm not perfect, but. If you really like my content, please go ahead and subscribe and share. Uh, do whatever you like. Leave a comment. You know, press the like button. Uh, press the alert button so that whenever I upload new content, I do that frequently, at least once a week. Uh, you will be alerted that there's actually new content. Thank you so much.